Hey, I'm Philip, and as you can see, I'm running a hip coffee shop in the middle of Berlin. Of course, we have an Instagram profile, which is very important for us, but I have a problem. I hate posting to Instagram. I never know what to write in the captions. I forget hashtags. If several teammates are allowed to post, then each of their posts sounds a little bit different, and there is no consistent tone. And in this video, I'd like to show you how I've created an automation that takes care of all of this. All I have to do is tap twice to share a photo, and everything else will happen automatically just the way we want it. This is how it works. I go into my camera roll. I select the photo I want to post. I tap the share icon. I tap on my smart Instagram post shortcut. And I just wait for a notification to come in that the post has been created. If you've experimented with letting AI create captions for your text, you know that ChatGPT usually comes up with lame stuff like this. Totally generic text that doesn't take your branding into account at all. Now, my automation is quite different because it is aware of what is in the images and it can use the information in the images so it can do things like this. It mentions this special container that we use to pour coffee. And even better, it can even read text that we might have written on our daily special board or something like that. I have given it none of this information. All of this has been pulled from the image data itself. So let me show you how this works. Now, in order to run this, I'm using two things. One is an automation that lives on my iOS devices or my Mac, my iPhone, my iPad, and I'm using that to launch the automation. I'm going into my camera roll, select the image that I want to start the automation with, and then just hit that shortcut. And the second thing is a tool called Make. What Make lets me do is to use the very latest in AI technology to build a very easy to understand workflow that I can set up perfectly to the needs that I have for my business. And I'd like to show you step-by-step step the workflow that I've created so you can recreate it yourself. And if you don't want to create everything from scratch, there are two ways how you can save time. One, you can download a copy of that Make automation to just import into your Make account and then connect it to your services. You can find that in my shop. Or if that's still too much work, I'd be happy to set this up for you via a Zoom session. So that is called a setup session. You can also find that in my shop. And if you have any questions, what else is possible, you can reach me here in the comments or under this email address, philip at lazyandroid.com. And finally, there are other ways to support my channel. For example, there is a link in the description of this video. If you sign up through that link, that would help me out a little bit as well. Thanks. Now, before I explain the automation step by step, there are a few things that you need in order to get started. So the first thing is the iOS shortcut that is linked in the description that you can download for free. You will need a make.com account. You can use the free one for a long time. If you go beyond that, it's around nine bucks a month. Again, if you sign up for Make for the first time, I would appreciate it if you could use my link in the video description below. Thank you. You will also need a free Google account. Uh, it could also be a Dropbox or some other cloud storage provider. And at the end of the automation, I'd like to send myself a little notification that a new post has been published. I'm sending that to Telegram, but you could also send this to Slack or send around an email either to one or several recipients. Of course, you will need an Instagram account. It only works with Instagram business accounts. Finally, you will need an iOS device or a Mac, and you will need at least one iOS device, either an iPhone or an iPad or a Mac. If you would rather use this automation with an Android device, please let me know in the comments. And finally, I like to reward people who actually watch my videos really carefully. So if you want to buy this automation, you can use the code SMART at checkout to save 20%. Now, two more tiny things, and then we are really ready to create the automation. You need to create a folder in your Google Drive, and you have to go over here to Manage Access, and you have to change this part down here where it says General Access to anyone with a link so that the images in this folder can then be uploaded into. The second thing you need is an OpenAI API key, which you can get if you go to platform.openai.com, and then over here to API keys, just click New Secret Key, give it a name or not, hit create secret key, and then copy the key that you're about to see because you will need to paste that into your make.com account. Now the cost for OpenAI is usage-based, but I can promise you unless you post hundreds of photos a day, bucks worth of OpenAI credits will last you for months. It has gotten really, really cheap to use and not using a lot of tokens. Now let's finally look at the automation. It starts with the iOS shortcut. You can get a free copy by opening this link which is in the YouTube description below. That takes you to this iCloud page. And if you click this button down here, it will copy the shortcut onto your device. And this is what the shortcut does. So apologies that all of this is in German, but if you open it on your device, it should be in the language that you've set on your device. So the first thing it does, it looks out for share actions 
that have an image file attached to them. This is a little comment that I've added to tell you how it works. Then it checks if that shortcut actually has an image file attached. And if it does, it will send it to a URL. Now this URL is also called a webhook, which is just a fancy word for saying URL. But this webhook URL, you will have to create in your own make account in a second and then paste it in this field that's called URL here. A few other things to note, you wanna make sure that this checkbox is set so that the automation shows up in your share sheet. You can do the same on your iOS device as well. And over here in this tab, you wanna set this to always allow so it doesn't always prompt you for every execution. All right, so that's the iOS shortcut taken care of. Now let's look at the make automation. It begins with that webhook that I've mentioned. It's basically just the URL that takes the input from the iOS device. It will then upload that image into that Google Drive that we've created. It will pass that image file on to the OpenAI Vision API, which will work its magic to describe this image in immaculate detail. It will then pass the image description onto a chat GPT step that will create the caption tag. It will post to Instagram. It will get the URL of the post that has been created and it will send that Telegram notification. Now let's have a look step by step. Now, if you create this from scratch, the first module you have to create is a webhook module. Just search for webhook and then select custom webhook. Next, click add to create a new webhook. You can give it a name. Click save and then you will have created that URL that you post into your iOS shortcut. Now, once you've created your webhook, you will notice this little stop sign turning here. And when you've done so, I would recommend that you run the iOS shortcut once because as you can see, the webhook is waiting for input. And the first time it is triggered, it will know what you will pass on to the webhook. For example, that there is an image file attached to that URL. So paste the link into your iOS shortcut and trigger it once with an image from your camera roll. Now, once you've done so, the red stop button should have disappeared and it should be replaced by a button that this redetermined data structure. You can leave the maximum number of results as one because we always want to post one picture. You can leave everything else as is. Now, the next module we need is a Google Drive module and an upload file action that looks like this. If this is the first time that you're using Make with your Google Drive, you will have to connect it up here. Now, if you're using a free version of Google Drive and not a paid Google Drive account, uh, the setup can be a bit tricky. So just click this link for online help here. And there you will have instructions on how you connect your Google Drive to your Make account. If you have any questions, please let me know. Now, once you've connected your Google Drive, all you have to do is select the folder that you want to put this image into the folder that we have created earlier. Just select that folder here where it says new folder location. And then down here where it says file name, you should see the results of the webhook module that contains an image file name and image file data, which is the actual data of the, of the image. So just map this as you see here. And for the next step, we need an open AI module. Here, the setup is a little bit different. You will add your open AI connection to this button over here. Uh, and a pop-up will appear that will ask you to input the open AI key that you've generated earlier. So just paste this in here, save it, and it will always be saved from now on. Now, as with the Google Drive module, there is a bunch of actions we can use. We want to select the first action, analyze an image with vision. And this is what it looks like. For the prompt, we're just going to say, describe this image. And then we will map the image file data that we have gotten from the web, everything else you can leave as is. Now I've run this scenario already once. So we have these little bubbles up here that will show us what goes into the module and what comes out of it. And if I click that, I can see that I have input an image and I have gotten an output at, down here where it says choices, message, content is the description of the image. And this was this image of this chalkboard, if you remember. So here we have the super detailed description of what it has been able to identify in that image. And this is the image description that we'll pass on to the next step. Now for this, we will choose another OpenAI module, but this time we will choose create a completion. So here it is. It will ask you to choose a GPT model. Just pick GPT-4, it doesn't really matter. Again, it costs literally less than pennies to have this image described and to have this caption created to it. So you can just go with chat GPT-4 here. Now for role, just select user and then in that prompt, you can work your magic. I've written that I'm running a coffee shop. You can, of course, change that if you have a restaurant or a food truck or anything else that you want. This is also a place where you tell it to always include certain hashtags, for example, or to use a specific tone of voice or, or to give it other background information on your business that it should include when it writes the captions, opening hours, your specialties, upcoming events, and so on and so forth. I hope this prompt will give you an idea of what you can do with this. 
If you have any questions, again, please leave them in the comments. And as always, just leave everything else as is. All right, we've uploaded the image, we've described it, we've created a caption. Now the next step is to post that. For this, we will take the Instagram for business module. And the easiest thing to do is just to create a photo post, but you could also create a carousel post with several photos. You could also upload reels, but they can't be described with the opening I vision yet. That only works for images. So in this example, I'm using a create a photo post action. As with the Google Drive, you will have to authorize your Instagram account once and it will be saved. And unlike the Google Drive connection, this is much easier to set up. Just click add, authorize your Instagram account once and you're ready to go. Select the Instagram account you want to post to if you have more than one. Where it says photo URL, you have to select the web content link from the Google Drive. That's another reason why it's important to set that Google Drive folder to general access anyone with a link so that the picture can be posted to Instagram. Then down here where it says caption, you will take the caption that has been created in the chat GPT step. And finally down here in location ID, you can give it a location ID. Uh, you can search for any location ID that you might like. Just enter a name here, click OK. And then it will give you a bunch of suggestions of places that you can tag. Now the second to last step is a list media action where we are getting the URL of the post that we just created. And finally, we are sending that alert. Again, you could, I'm sending this to a Telegram bot, just posting in the captions that we've created and the link to the post. If I want to jump into the Instagram app and edit something after it's been posted, instead of Telegram, you could also send a notification to a Slack channel you could send around an email to one or several recipients. So there are, there are lots of possibilities of uh, what you can do at the end here. If you'd like to know how you can connect something else here, please let me know in the comments. And it doesn't need to stop there. The beauty of Make is that you can make whatever you want. Um, for example, there are other options. If you don't want to run this on full auto and just have it post whatever, you could also tell it to just fill your buffer queue, for example. Uh, have somebody look it over and then give it a go ahead to schedule a buffer post. You could also post to Pinterest, to Facebook pages, to Reddit, Telegram groups, Facebook, WhatsApp group, um, whatever you have in mind. If you want me to cover anything else, please let me know in the comments. But as far as the standard automation goes, you're ready to go. Just turn it on by clicking this button down here. And from now on, this webhook will listen for new input from your iOS device. Now you can share this iOS shortcut with anyone on your team that has an iOS device. Just tell them to copy and paste that webhook from your Make account and anyone can start posting pictures to your Instagram account with just two taps. So I hope I was able to show you how you can save a lot of time posting to Instagram and have a higher level of quality than you would have otherwise. Again, if you want to save yourself some time, just get a copy of this automation from my store or let me set this up for you. I'd be happy to do so. Here's my email again. If you want to get in touch with me, I'd love to hear from you. Finally, I've made a similar video on how to transcribe audio files so if endless voice messages are ruining your life, you can use a similar automation, not to describe an image, but to transcribe an audio file and get a convenient and concise summary of a five minute voice message delivered to you in text form. If you want to check that out, that video is on my channel too. So thank you and see you in the next one.